Module 3, Pigging Operations. Water transfer operations include pigging operations. Use of these devices requires proper planning, communication, and hazard identification. Failure to do so will result in endangering yourself and your fellow coworkers. Welcome to the Energy Safety Canada video series on surface water transfer operations. This module focuses on pigging operations. Pigging is one of the most dangerous parts of water transfer operations. It involves clearing the lines, called dewatering, using air pressure and pigs to purge the lines of water. Pigs are devices which enable workers to push water and debris from the lines. The top hazard in pigging operations is compressed air in the lines, which have the potential for release in a violent manner if system integrity is lost. This energy is a function of pressure and volume. Although seeming low pressure, these systems can contain massive amounts of energy. Proper planning is essential to ensure energy contained in the system is minimal at all times. Planning and Oversight Pigging operations require extra attention to detail, communication and oversight. Supervisors need to ensure operations staff are fit for duty and competent on the procedures they are undertaking. Equipment must be engineered and certified for use. Workers should review dewatering planning, ensure you understand the design, your role and the communication channels in place. Every water transfer operation is unique and requires a specific plan. The pigging plan needs to be developed prior to the job to minimize energy in the system and must be adhered to. As an example, pigging may be done in sections to reduce the energized length of the system. Pigging may be done in the direction of least resistance, downhill, to reduce the pressure. Any deviation from the execution plan could result in an increase in likelihood or severity of the activity. One of the significant changes from water to air is that air is compressible and water is not. What that means is that a section of hose filled with air can contain much more energy than the same section which contains water. Please remember, the differences between air and water can be catastrophic. Question any tasks or activities you are involved with but don't fully understand. Each company will have details on equipment operation and safety requirements. Be sure to be informed and deemed competent in any job you are performing. Supervisors, ask newer workers to explain their roles and the operation taking place. Use open-ended questions to gauge their level of understanding and avoid telling the answer and getting a head bob in return. Communications. Pigging will often require work around other third-party workers, whether on the work site or on public roadways. Barriers and signage will be required to keep people out of the line of fire and aware of ongoing activities. Due to the long distances involved, communication between workers is important. Hey, Reed, do you have a copy? Go for Reed. Okay, we're about to launch the pig. We're gonna fire up the compressor and let it warm up, and we'll be sending it at you. If you see anything, let us know, and we'll shut the compressor down. Yeah, you're all clear down here. Send the pig whenever. Okay, we're gonna get ready and launch it. If anyone has any issues, please let us know quickly on the radio. Copy that. Discuss communication methods up front and ensure communications are tested and reliable. Do not always assume that communication that was sent is received. Request confirmation for critical messages. Equipment. Ensure all equipment is as per the plan, within operating limits and specifications. Any inventory items missing or out of spec need to be brought to the supervisor's attention. Pay attention to maximum safe operating pressures, valve type, configurations, and connection types. Double check that all safeguards and no-go zones are in place. Identifying something that isn't correct as per the plan is of critical importance. One small change at one location may mean an additional change elsewhere. Ask about your company's specific procedures for reporting and managing change. Pressure Release Valves PRVs. Hydrostatic pressure is the force of the column of fluid in a container or vessel. If a hose runs through a valley, the pressure is higher at the bottom than at the top. Pressure release valves are energy control devices used in the event of overpressure in the system. 
Line Blockages Line blockages can cause issues and incidents with pigging. They can be caused by sharp turns in the line, ice buildup, partially closed valves, objects dropped or fallen on the line. The first line of defense to line blockages is identification while walking the line. This is done prior to pigging activities after the system has been de-energized. Look for sharp turns, snaked lines, fallen objects like trees, crossings or culverts. At times, the line may need to be repositioned, but never when it is under pressure. In the event the pig gets stuck, never try and dislodge a stuck pig with force. The line must be depressurized from both sides. Raise the issue with a supervisor in the event that hydrostatic pressure is trapped by a blockage on one side. Pig Receiver Locating and Bleed Off The pig receiver is where the fluids and anything from the line will leave the line. This is a high hazard area where ice objects or debris may exit at high speed. This is a no-go zone and should be flagged and avoided. It is good practice to always know where the pig is located in the line. If you don't know where the pig is located, depressurize the line prior to approaching and try to find the pig. Bleed-off points are highly dependent on line design. Ensure locations are known to the crew and who has control over them. Pigging operations are designed to dewater and are an important part of operations. Significant energy can be both stored and released in pigging, and adhering to the plan and company SOPs can ensure these tasks are performed safely.